Welcome everybody, this is Jimmy Chicky with your Las Vegas Real Estate Update and today we're going to talk about an interesting thing that happened to one of my clients. So there we are, uh, my buyer client was had already signed for uh, the closing of the house that they purchased or that were in the process of purchasing. The day of the close of escrow, the seller was signing and uh, the seller called us up, the seller's agent called us up and said, hey, we're not signing. We didn't realize that we had to pay closing costs. So the executed contract uh, and in a subsequent addendum, because the house didn't appraise, so they had lowered the price by $4,000, both said that uh, closing costs uh, to be paid by the um, to pay by the seller. So anyway, here they are at the last minute saying, oh, we're not going to do it. The words that I loved was the selling agent saying, my client just says he'll rent the house out for a year and whatever. Okay, so here's the law in case you're wondering. Um, yes, he could do that. What happens is when they decide that they're not going to do what the contract states, uh, we would have had to have gotten a lawyer to go to them and it would probably would have started with arbitration. Either way, the house couldn't be sold at that point because it's technically still in escrow and uh, we would be holding the guy up. And in the end, they decided to go ahead and just uh, give my client the closing costs and everything worked out fine. But it's just kind of odd, the crazy things that happen here in real estate. So once you sign a contract, you have an executed, executed contract, you just can't cancel for any reason, um, you know, depending on whether you're the buyer or the seller, you can sue for a thing called specific performance. If you don't perform what the contract says, then uh, you can be sued just like any other contract. So there is your update for today. This is Jimmy Chickie, and we're talking about Las Vegas real estate.